this is my full walkthrough fly around of the Star Destroyer I'm working on. Uh, as mentioned in the other video, it's not complete yet, but it's it's coming along. I've got kind of the the outer structure, how I like it. Oh, I just saw a block that isn't built in right. Hmm. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's coming along and I'm really liking it. Um, uh, let's get to it. This is going to be a little bit longer video. I'm going to go over as much as I can. Uh, I'll try to point out mods where I can because I like mods. Um, uh, unfortunately, I don't remember the exact name or the mod authors, so I hope you will understand um, that my memory is not perfect, far from it, but I hope, uh, you know, credit where credit's due. All right, let's start doing this thing. Uh, I'm going to fix that block first and foremost because it's going to drive me nuts. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> let's get my thing back up. All right, I think it's just a, uh, yeah. There we go. All right, cool. So, it's a pretty good sized ship. It's, uh, I have no idea how many blocks long or meters long it is, but it's big. It's kind of that size where uh, I have more space than I know what to do with, which is a blessing and a curse, because sometimes I feel guilty for just having designed all this negative space and lugging around, but whatever. Um, these green pips are where I'm going to place some turrets, but I just don't have that mod plugged in yet. Um, there is a Star Wars Weapon Core mod. Oh, let's turn all this stuff off again. A Star Wars Weapon Core mod in the works, and I'm trying to wrap my head around Weapon Core. Um, and I really have been wanting turbo lasers, and it's coming along. Um, there also, there's going to be one here. Blech. There's going to be uh, a turbo laser there and a turbo laser there. Similarly, a turbo laser there and turbo laser there. Um, like a big nast, a, a heavy duty turbo laser. And then these ones I'm probably going to do is some sort of point defense. And, uh, yeah, I don't have any figured out for the bottom side yet, but we'll get there. Um, let's see. So that's the outside. I, I kind of, you know, Star Destroyers have that weird little indent in them uh, at a couple points. So that was tricky to figure out and to come up with a way that, you know, worked and looked good. As well as I, I wanted it to kind of extend the length of the thing, because I get really tired of always just doing this same diagonal everywhere. I use it a lot. Uh, it's just a nice diagonal, but I get bored with it, so I like to break it up a little bit to kind of rebolt. And I don't think I'll keep those solar panels there, but, you know, just kind of figuring things out. This sort of design with that, I call it like a layer cake design. Um, or a sandwich design that you see. You actually see it a lot in Star Wars. I really like it. I think it looks really cool. Um, and it lets you do cool stuff like I'm going to greeble it with, you know, conveyors and oxygen tubes and maybe even leave a few gyros out just because they look kind of weird and different. Um, and that's the idea. I'll probably put some sort of missile launcher system here at the front. There's a cool weapon core guided missile that's really cool. Um, it's a little little on the uh, OP side, but I I'm going to try not to rely on it too heavily. Uh, but let me show you the, thing, the exterior part that I think I do have pretty much done that I'm really happy with, and that's the back. I think this back looks cool. Great. Uh, these are some modded um, large hydrogen thrusters. They're you, know, you can see they're five tall by five wide by I don't know six deep or something. Man, do they have a lot of thrust! Whew, this thing gets up to full speed in no time. Um, I think I'm mostly just gonna <laughs> kind of use them for visual effect because they are way too powerful. 
I, I'm hoping they're balanced by just, you know, just drinking hydrogen fast. Um, or I'm just going to use thrust override. Because, uh, whew! Uh, very fast. Okay, so that's the back. This, this was pretty much the f first thing I built. Um, it kind of defined the width of the ship and the height and stuff. Um, and, you know, I, re I wanted really big ones. I, ha I had built this one not too long ago, and this was a fun little Star Destroyer. It was very cute. It's very small and compact. It didn't have a lot of extra room. Um, and it was fun. I enjoyed it. But the thing that I like most about <coughs> having ships in Space Engineers is having a good hangar bay. And this thing has a hangar bay, but it's really small. This is a uh, TIE Advanced that I like to fly around. And it's a lot of fun. I, I'm also hoping for Star Wars weapons for that, because right now I just use Gatling guns. Um, but this is fun. This thing's near, nearly vanilla, with the exception of it's got a, a shield generator in there. Um, uh, but as you can see, this hangar bay can hold about <clears throat> three on the small to medium-sized ships, and that's about it. And even then, they're like banging and pumping around. Um, these are uh, not turbo lifts. What are those called? Um, repulsor lifts. They're again, they're kind of overpowered. I've never like built one from scratch, so I don't know like what they require resource-wise, but like energy-wise, I mean, they take like nothing, and you know, this ship can float around in atmosphere like it weighs like 10 pounds, so I try to be, I try to use them sparingly, but, you know, I just find um, atmospheric thrusters to not really do the trick, and hydrogen thrusters, they work great, but man, you need a lot of them. And they kind of throw off the look of your ship, and you spend a lot of time just trying to get ice going in your ship, and not as much fun as I'd hope. So, that's the back of my ship. Um, I've got this old doodad. This is like my side um, uh, docking area. Let's see, let's find this. Oh, by the way, I call this ship the Hedgecrow. It's a cute little nickname I have for my wife. Uh, let's see. Can I do this while I... Nope. I oh, can't do that. Alright, I know how we can do it. <coughs> uh, hinge. Starboard. Boop. So now I can dock stuff up to that, and then it doesn't throw off the profile of my ship. I'm flying around. Plus, moving parts are fun. Says me. Oops, here it is. <coughs> I'll probably set up some sort of timer thing. Or maybe not, I don't know. Um, so that's that. Uh, we can go in through here. Not much to look at on the interior, but at this point, in fact, there's a big old hole in the floor. Hello. Um, this is the other side of the big engine room that you saw in the other video. There's another ram scoop. I've got three, three of those currently in the ship. Probably just leave it at that. I don't want too, too many. Um, I like there being some reason to fly around, not just having full energy all the time. Um, got two jump drives. I actually don't even use my jump drives very often, but I don't know. They just look kind of cool on the back, and such a big block. Yeah, I may as well stick them somewhere. Right? I, I kind of like being able to see my big gadgets. Um, like reactors and stuff. I don't like tucking them away. The, the one exception being gyros, just because you need so many of them. I'll sometimes stash them in little rooms that you can't access otherwise. Like, I'm thinking that's maybe what this space is going to become. Um, I've also got a... Similar to uh, that kind of top portion, this was a, 
just more negative space that ended up getting created, creating the out the the profile on my ship. See, it's all this sort of stair steppy nonsense. I didn't really need all that. It just looked kind of cool. So that is a um, a large scale wings aerodynamics mod. Um, where'd they go? I haven't tested them yet. Um, so I don't know how much lift they're actually going to generate, but we'll find out. <laughs> or go plummeting into a planet. Uh, well, I'm, these combined with the, uh, what are they called? Repulsor lifts should hopefully do the trick. Uh, anyway, so here's the engine room, which you saw in the last video. Super happy with the way this is coming out. This is a fun little mod. Um, these are just dummies. They don't do anything, they just stand there, which is good. Oh, there it is. I thought I couldn't see it for a sec. So I'm considering them stormtroopers. They're just going to stand here and guard stuff. That's weird. Oh, if you, like, cursor over them, the gun disappears. Kinda. So, they're going to guard stuff. Uh, close the... Ah, I'll leave it open. Whatever. Uh, so this is going to be the main hangar bay. There's another big gate here. I'm not quite sure how far forward it's going to go. Probably somewhere along where this shelf is. Um, almost to the end of that uh, solar panel. But it might go further back. Um, the idea being... <coughs> you know, I'm going to have these access doors. And maybe a window or something here. Because again, being able to see this sounds kind of cool. Though, you know... The Imperials probably didn't leave, you know, viewpoints, scenic viewpoints in their ships, but I worked really hard on this room. I'd like to look at it now and then. Um, anyway, so you'll probably have some little walkway either through here, through here, through here, through here, over to the, uh, the access, you know, another one of these hinges. Don't know what I'm going to put all in this space. Probably a bunch of um, hydrogen tanks and... I might fit a large refinery in this ship. I kind of don't like having everything in my ship. I, I think it's kind of more fun to have like a base set up somewhere that I can run resources back to and, you know, something a little more efficient than hauling around a huge piece of equ equipment. Though, you know, the ship's got room and thrust in spades. Um, so I don't really have to worry about it. These red blocks were just sort of placeholder blocks, if you see them all over the place. Just as I was kind of filling in areas. Um, you know, this was just to remind myself, this probably isn't the finished product, but I just needed to bolt some pieces together. Um, looks pretty gnarly right now. It'll probably look pretty gnarly when I'm done, too. I kind of get to a point where I'm just like, I just want to fly it around. <laughs> it's airtight, whatever, let's go. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that area, hangar bay, I love, I love just taking off and landing ships through this port, it's just kind of fun. It's not quite in the right spot for a um, <clears throat> true Star Wars Star Destroyer, but eh, it works. Uh, I'm probably going to have down here that sort of like, it's almost like a pot belly or belly button gravity generator thing is what I think it's supposed to be on Star Wars Star Destroyers, but I usually use it, and on this one I made it a, uh, uh, a connector connection, and that was my large cargo container right there. Kind of in a uh, vulnerable position, but eh, whatever. It, there wasn't a lot of room in this for in this little ship to put it anywhere else. So, it worked. This one, th this big guy will probably have it a little more internal over here or something. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about kind of trying to build like a, a boarding ramp into the, the pot belly, but I don't know yet. Uh, let's see what's next. Um, okay, uh, the next cool thing thing that I've started doing is <laughs> elevators are cool, but they require so much setup and they don't work very well, so I just play a little make-believe. 
I call these turbo lifts, or for a long time, jump tubes. Sort of like in um, Futurama, just the tubes that like suck you around. You just kind of get in them, and just you just use your thrusters through them. Don't go too fast, or you smack your head and die. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, pro tip. Uh, one of the uh, why can't I move? There. One of the uh, blocks has um, ladders in it, which is handy if you run out of uh, hydrogen thruster fuel in your suit. Unfortunately, there's not a door ladder combo, I don't think. So you kind of have to like jump <laughs> precariously uh, to your level. Um, so this is the airlock to the top front of the ship. Sorry, got a little hay fever. And part of the superstructure. Ah! Oh, I didn't maybe look at this. I like the kind of like, here's more of that kind of layer cake design with, you know, lots of texture. I love this sort of, I forget which paint texture this is. It might be like sci-fi texture or something, but if you just do it on like a white block, you get lots of really great detail. I, I've, I've mixed it up with the clean and the um, sci-fi, and I think it creates kind of a cool effect. Again, these green pips are going to be turbo lasers. Some energy generation. Yes, I have a vent on the outside. The idea being I'll be able to take this thing into atmosphere and suck up a bunch of atmosphere, a bunch of oxygen, and then fly off again. There's my antenna. Oh, I have something I'm really excited to show you guys. Maybe I'll show you that next, because there's not much to look at in the superstructure. Um, I left the, the what's it called, sci-fi for the cockpit, uh, because my thinking is um, these, these areas that I'm going to be nearby um, and flying around and looking at a lot, I want to see lots of texture where it's like just big slabs of armor. I don't really need to see it. Who cares? Okay. Let's go back in here. I'm calling this area the mezzanine. Because it sounds fancy. This was another little turbo lift area. There's more of those um, big wings on the back of this wall. This is just kind of a room I don't even need. So I might just stick more of those wings in here somewhere. I thought it'd be kind of fun to continue this turbo list through here, not have an actual stop, you know, get rid of this, these stairs, because I don't really need to ever come in here. And make it look like like a stormtrooper like mess hall or re relaxation room. So just have more of those models standing around, like looking all casual and sitting in at tables near kitchens and getting soda, clan colas and stuff. I don't know. That, that's that's more, you know, once I have the ship up and functioning and I'm bored and yeah. So again, another big empty room. Uh, this is one of my favorite mods. These uh, interior blocks are actually, <laughs> they are, um, Bears. I love this mod. And there's tons of them. Look at them all. These are all different angles. Basically, any orientation you can think of. And they got them. And it lets you hide them in a very pleasing way. I, I sort of don't like the look of conveyor tubes. No. no. Um... Sometimes I do, sometimes I want to see them, but a lot of times, especially when I'm going like between floors, I like to kind of hide them. And I think this mod does it great. Um, one of my favorite mods. Alright, so this is a big empty room. This will probably be my one of these rooms. I'm probably going to, you know, section off and make it a uh, medical bay. Another one might be like, I don't know, something. This is a cool mod. This is an interface, so it lets you 
interface with all your stuff and you can even uh, change what's on the screen here. I'm probably going to use the um, what's it called the smart LCDs that can tell you all the the resources on your ship as well as like power consumption and stuff. It'll probably just be resources. But it also lets you access um, inventory. So it's just kind of a great do everything and it looks great. It looks so cool. This is another great mod. This is the uh, this is a um, it's a conveyor with a vent built right in. That way, I mean, do less blocks that are kind of, yeah, less is more. I love it. Here's a little turbo lift. Alright, I'm getting to that thing that I said I was super excited to show you. Because this part is really cool. So this is going to be the captain's quarters. Nice big window. I'll have a bedroom or something here. Um, it's not airtight yet. These vents go right out into space. But this is the thing that I'm really excited about. So, you know that scene in Empire Strikes Back when Darth Vader is sitting in that crazy capsule thing and that little twerpy uh, officer comes to bug him about Dar something and Darth is just like, what do you want? Well, I wanted to build something like that in here, but it took up a ton of room and I had to do all sorts of weird things with the roof and the ceiling and it was more trouble than it was worth and it didn't even look that good. But I had all this room in the uh, the neck superstructure uh, of the Star Destroyer that I was like, I guess I could pack it full of batteries or something. And I was like, that's lame. So this is the secret Sith pod. Oh, Sith tank is what I called it. captain of this ship can come in here and chillax for a bit. I love the sounds too, right? How Darth Vader is that? Now, if you get out of the thing while you're still in it, let's see, how do I do that? Nope. There we go. Yeah, you're kind of stuck in here, so I put a little escape button. Alright, I think the last thing I'm going to show you, the last thing that I really have done, is the, uh, I'm floating, there we go, is the, um, bridge, and it's, it's coming together, the bridge is the thing I'd probably spend the most time getting the aesthetic just right, other than that engine room, because obviously you're going to spend a lot of time on the bridge. I love this, this was kind of a little fun bonus, you just get a little glimpse of a gravity generator I have just for the bridge, instead of one for the entire ship. I like to turn the the like main one off when I leave the ship so I'm not using a ton of juice. Then this way there's always one going on the bridge. And so I get this cool little like sneaky access. That was a fun little bonus. So here's the bridge coming together. These guys kind of startled me because I'm like, what? There's, a <laughs> there's someone on my ship? So that that's going to take a while. Um, obviously this needs some paint. It being all in white it uh, doesn't have any contrast, per se. Um, I'll probably include some charcoal or some black or something. Maybe a, a splash of teal, teal being my favorite color. Uh, there's another one of these great um, interface blocks. The, the oxygen, uh, probably pressurize, right? Why is it not pressurizing? Hmm. That's problematic. Anyway, uh, it's got a little uh, escape hatch, because a lot of times when I leave the ship, I just, I don't need to go anywhere else in the ship. I just need to fly out, maybe crack open a uh, drop pod, fly back in, and then 
drop the stuff off. Um, probably not canon, but sure is handy. Um, so over here I'll probably have stations set up. I wish I could see the edge of the ship on that window. This line is supposed to line up with the uh, hinge conveyor tubes, and I'm pretty sure it does, but you can't really see. Can I even see if I look? Nope. Can't see nothing. Oh well. Um, here is where the cockpit seat will go. Sight lines aren't bad. Uh, I'm probably going to put some monitors up there. Get all these set up to something cool. Um, included. You, you can definitely get a good look from here. Quite like it. Um, I had a cool idea for putting something here, but I forget what it was. Uh, this is that little that little command area where the like junior officers or whatever. I'll have all sorts of command consoles here. Um, and here's my remote block. And yeah, so that's my ship. They're very fast. Watch this. Those thrusters are insane. All that smoke is from the uh, electrical things going on in the reactor room. I wish they didn't create smoke. I wish it was just the electricity, but there we are. Uh, I think the size is feeling good. Uh, I feel like it looks just about perfect. I don't have the shield generator things on the, uh, the superstructure yet, but I think there's a couple of mods for that too. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this build. It's been a lot of fun. Can't wait to get it up and running. I guess I'll call that my video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe this thing comes further along, I'll uh, keep doing them because people seem to like it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.